hello there guys it's alex again so i found something that i could teach you guys again that's gonna be interesting and somewhat useful because i know there's like a lot of people that are doing trying to do fishnets out of mesh and stuff and they're like doing it the wrong way so a video a few days ago of someone trying to do fishnets right and i want to say that their technique wasn't bad but it was excruciating to watch Basically what they were doing was this. So they took a cylinder and they were, they shrunk it down and they were doing this. They were doing this to make fishnets, right? Which, I mean, it's, it's not a bad idea, but you're going to have issues with rigging when you're doing something like this to make fishnets. Because none of these are going to be connected, the weights are going to transfer badly, and it doesn't really look very good, right? If, if you're going to do it just for, uh, like, to render and make a photo or something like that, this is fine, right? But there are better ways to do mesh out of uh to do fishnets out of mesh and i'm gonna show you guys how so we're gonna take one simple plane right and we're gonna rotate it shrink it down a bit to the first size we want our fishnets to be so i want mine to be bigger so i'm just gonna make it bigger right we're gonna shrink wrap this to the body keep above surfaces this method works in Blender 2.8, 2.9, 3.0, blah, blah, blah. Because it relies mainly on a modifier that all of them have. right? And the modifier being the wireframe modifier. And as you can see, the moment we apply it, it looks like this. right? So from here, we just have to move it and make sure that we have it fitting all of them the same size. right? So we can just select two edges. Uh, we can select one edge and then extrude from there and then just make a bunch of uh, extrusions make sure they're all the same size and whatnot and they all go the same way you want and stuff like that right and we can also do like uh we can just rotate this right and just have this going like this and then connect and then we're gonna have to fill in the face because this is technically turning a face into edges itself yeah, so and just do that and then from here we can choose some more here from here here and from here we can go like this and then connect here 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 and so on and so on right and make as much fishnet as we want and then at the end when we apply the modifiers where if we have parts like this that are still cut like this cutting the body we can pull them out later right we can also add extra edges and loops in there in case we don't like how big it is and we want to make it like smaller like that right we can also and uh, instead of just adding manual loops we can use a subdivision modifier which if we put above the wireframe it's gonna directly translate into the wireframe of the fishnet like this right other things we can use is a solidifier if we want to make it thicker right as you can see it's like going to triangles You don't want to have a double you are going to have to do add that later on so i don't want to use any of these i want mine to be bigger something like that right i'm just gonna apply my modifiers here because i'm happy with how it looks right so unwrapping this is going to be a bit of a hustle uh because you can do the easy way which is this and you can do smart uv unwrapping which is gonna make it look like that which it's not bad but it's not great either right let me show you why it's not great because once you apply your textures 
it's gonna look like that right it's gonna be random it's not gonna be connected to itself and yeah right but then again if you want to do normal unwrapping it's not gonna work why it's not why is it not gonna work because you have the insides right so if we're just gonna take the insides of this it's gonna be really annoying i'm just gonna speed up the video here and uh, resume it after i've selected like all the insides here and i'll see you guys in a bit all right so i've selected all the insides and now we're going to do x and vertices and we've deleted all of the insides on this right and we're gonna unwrap it and without the insides as you can see it unwrapped really nicely right and then we go there you can see that it has everything there right why do we want to unwrap like this well in case we want to add like an image or something like that drag this photo out and as you can see with this we can just add stuff like this right and from afar you can kind of get an idea of it right but yeah that kind of the main purpose of this unwrapping like like unwrapping it like that right and if we add the solidify to it now and we go into the negatives we can increase the thickness of it right which is pretty nice right and if we don't check uh, only rim there's gonna be an end side to this again and we're gonna have the same issue and you're gonna have to delete everything again so remember only rim and even thickness on everything so everything the same size and yeah you can make like really cool patterns like this for your fish nets with this and and if you want to add like let's say flowers over the fishnets and uh, you can uh, simply just extract one of the faces in here or like just straight up connect them like that right and you can add flowers or indentations but let's say you want to add like a cut to it so let's say we want this piece here to have to, to be like a seams or something right so we just extrude oh uh, we don't extrude. we just move this piece but without the solidifier okay and it's gonna give you something like that well i'm gonna have to adjust it a bit manually but that's kind of the idea right so if you let's say this was on the side here of uh, the body and you wanted to add like uh, a visible seam here you would just take that part and just move it a bit or like scale it to the sides but yeah that's kind of how you make mesh fishnets i hope this helps you guys and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel join my discord server make a donation for link below if you know people who are looking to get stuff done either for second life or other games sims and they have the money to pay for someone to do mesh textures rigging and all that good stuff for them refer them to my discord link discord username that's going to be in the description of this video